Howdy folks, welcome back. I hope you're doing well and staying safe. We're going to talk about the new premium line in the first ship that I got in it, the new French cruisers, the Toulon. Toulon is a city in France. Can we just take the opportunity to look at the beautiful camo and the artwork? As usual, the art department in Wargaming nails it. Beautiful. So this boat is an interesting boat to play. She looks like the, uh, the Dunkirk with their front guns. She's got eight barrels in the front. That was good accuracy, but she has some glaring difficulties that I'll get to in a minute. You might see when you're watching me here about to shoot. Overall, the, the boat itself is fun to play. Uh, I would say overall she's great for operations, and, and you know it is good that way. Uh, I'm playing Nare here with uh, some friends. I think this is the first time I've played in operations, if I remember correctly, this replay. But again, it's fun. I'm up here by myself taking out the carrier and the destroyers and... And the Phoenix, it's not a problem. But uh, one of the real challenges we'll get to a bit is, first of all, her reload. And uh, get ready for this. With all the bells and whistles and captain skills, I've got it down to 28 seconds. Yeah, she has smaller guns than the Dunkirk at Tier 6, and she has a worse reload than the Dunkirk at Tier 6. Uh, she's not stacked with armor, so she really can't brawl which I'll show it a bit and talk about in a bit. There's a certain way you want to play it. You'll see the last part of a, a random battle at the end of this of how to actually angle and do your thing here. This carrier is about to get schmacked. And we'll carry on inside the harbor. Now, the other thing that's kind of interesting about this uh, ship is whether you're going to take Hydro, which I have when I'm playing uh, Operations. Or if you're going to be taking defensive AA, and I have some examples of that a bit later in the video. And now we just take this guy out, and we go into the harbor. Again, very, very long reload. And the last thing I'll say before we get into the boat is, the turret traverse is horrific. So, again, we'll talk about it a bit later, and we'll get into more detail here as we go through the... Uh, the the synopsis of the boat. First of all, again, great camo. I love the art department. Marseille here, the actual town. This is where the, uh, no, it's Toulon, the actually, uh, the French scuttled the fleet during World War II. But great job by the art department. Absolutely bloody gorgeous. But as always, let's get into it. Let's go to the armor layout. Um, right off the bat, look at the bow, 16 millimeter. Yeah, you can be penned by just about anything. And it's just got 170 in the bottom and 25 mil in the deck. So, yeah, when you get up tier to tier 9 boats, you're going to struggle a lot. This is not something you brawl with. You don't brawl in this boat. Sorry, I'm just going to get here and, and show you this. So she's got a bit of a turtle back armor, but it's not that good. It's only 160 mil to redeflect. And then there's her uh, Citadel armor. And below that, 50 mil. She has two types of Citadel armor, so be very careful. Plunging fire from AP and even HE. Some HE can go through the top deck and citadel you. So she's not a brawler, so, so please <laughs> don't treat her like that. For me, I got 42.5 on the hit points and 25% torpedo reduction, which is standard, not bad. I'll get into artillery in a minute, and AA as well, I said, but without a speed flag, she's 30 knots, and that's slow. Rudder shift time, 11.5, so she kind of turns a bit slow too. Concealment's not bad at 10.1 for this tier. I think it's not bad with all the captain skills. Um, you have a fire, 12.1, and detectability uh, in smoke is 8.9. Do try to stay out uh, of range. You want to start fires and, and, sh and shoot things. Again, 305, so let me just quickly go back here. 305, 305 millimeter. Um, I'm going to go quickly here and show you something to, to prove a point here, which I thought was interesting between her and the Dunkirk, because she's very similar to the Dunkirk in design, too. The Dunkirk has 350. 55 millimeter or sorry 330 millimeter and a 26 second reload she has 28 oh it's painful as always i take i mean armament modification i take the engine boost my engine boost gives me four minutes and 17 seconds of boost that's up there with the uh, tier 9 georgia I take main battery modification uh, traverse speed because of how bad it is. I am looking at aiming modification right now. I'm not sure about these two, but I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. And I take propulsion modification because I want to juke and jive because she's not a brawler. 
Again, 28 second reload. HE got a 51 millimeter pen with these shells. They're only 305s. But they're not. They're not stellar. If you know what I mean. And then of course AP as well. And only maximum damage is 8400. You're going to be doing a lot of overpens, even on battleships. Divins here again, hydroacoustic, or do you want to take defensive AA? If I'm in randoms, I usually take hydroacoustic. I've already talked about the uh, the uh, the engine boost. Sorry, when I'm in randoms, I want to take defensive AA. When I'm in operations, probably hydroacoustic because of bots. You got a fighter and you got a heal. Now, I've taken superintendent because I want more consumables. I tried it before with less consumables. I don't like it because you're going to get smacked. And as I said before, uh, 28 second reload. And the turret traverse, I got it down to 29 seconds. It was 40 seconds base. So, yeah, it, it, in a hard turn, especially the speed boost on, even now I can't control it. My secondaries are 6.6. .6. That's usually enough for DDs. Straight up, here's what I take for my flags. Of course, I take economic and special flags. And I do try to take a lot of the uh, uh, start fire flags. It's about the best I can do. Going back to the turret traverse, it's deplorable. With nothing on it. It's 40 seconds. It is brutal. Uh, even a, a normal turn without any uh, grease the gears and one or captain skills, it won't work. I, of course, take the uh, specialty camel because it's bloody gorgeous. But All right, let's go look at the uh, captain skills and explain that more. Right out the bat, grease the gear. My captain's a specialty captain tier 21. He gets 20% which is uh, excellent. You need to take gun feeder because it's a 28 second reload. If you need to reload HEDAP or vice versa, it's painful. I take consumable enhancement because I want to get my hydro and or defensive AA up and I want to get my speed boost up as quick as possible. I always take adrenaline rush for any boat I take. I took this one, the heavy AP gives me an extra 5% of penetration, which does help. If you add it up, it's an extra 15%. Uh, Oh, well, 15 millimeters. I do take a Super 10 Intelligent Belt. And I do take Top Grade Gunner because it gives my reload time, my main battery, a minus 8%. And I take Consumable Expert. I'm not quite done with these captain skills, but I'm kind of getting there. We'll see. I want to show you AA right now. Here's AA with, uh, with Hydro on. No defensive AA. And using my fighter. I would say it's okay, but you're going to see a significant difference in why... Like I said, when I'm playing against bots, I'll take Hydro. I'm pretty good at defensing or going against torpedoes nowadays with, with real players. Uh, when I'm in a real match, I prefer to have some sort of defensive AA as much as possible. Because this guy had no trouble getting me for 3,300 damage. Yeah. Not the best. I do end up shooting all the planes down right before he goes out of my, uh, my sector, but it's like, ouch. And here's an example of me using defensive AA. Release the fighter. And here we go. And it is better. It's much better. I also find for me that when I take defensive AA, I don't find aircraft carriers. <laughs> so I'm okay with that. You know what I mean? I'm not a big fan of CVs. And as I sit and shoot them, they're gone. So again, a big difference. I know people say that there's no such thing as AA in, 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 in ships today. With defensive AA, there is. And uh, here's what she can do in the guns when she doesn't overpen. This poor Shores. Again, look at the accuracy. It's fantastic for the... I would say a good 70% of the time it's fantastic. So you get stuff like that. But you can get and will get a lot of overpens. So I'm charging this Monarch so that I can do this to him. I want to show an example of, of me shooting a good sized battleship with these guns. They're not great. There's only 9,000 damage. If that was a, a battleship, I probably would have, you know, Citadel quite a bit. So how do I like the boat overall? So I played in co-op, I played it in operations, I played it in randos, and I took some time in the training room. Overall, I like the new line. I think they're a lot of fun. I think they're good. Uh, they're not high damage. In this case, it has a 28-second reload. Uh, even if you cut that in half, I'd still think it was too much for a cruiser. It's not a battleship, it's a cruiser. She's not designed to tank, but you're going to see here later on the New Mexico of how to angle and bounce some, uh, I think New Mexico's got 14 or 15 inch shells, I can't remember off the top of my head. So overall, it's a fun boat. I, I really do like it. It can be fun. The speed boost is good. You can get up towards 36 knots plus without a speed flag. You gotta be, this is not a brawler. This boat is a little bit standoffish. She's got good distance over 16 kilometers for tier seven. I said she's good for um, 
operation. She's good for randos and she's good for co-op. You're just not going to have a high DPM damage per minute. It's just not going to happen. Uh, having the guns in the front is a really good thing. But I would give it a solid pass. I do like the boat. So I hope you found this entertaining and, and, and useful. Uh, always leave me a comment. If you want me to review another boat, please let me know in the comments. Other than that, stay safe. Uh, take care of yourself. And uh, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.